Hello my dudes, I've got half a voice but I'm still going to record this and you might be wondering, Rachel, why in God's name did you put the milk in your tea when the tea bag was still in there you fiend? I'm here to tell you that if you take the tea bag out of your cup before the milk has been poured, you are reckless, you are on thin ice my friend and you're one step away from having a pale, sad cup of tea and I'm just not willing to take that kind of risk so don't at me and don't even think about calling me out on a topic that I'm clearly very insecure about. And if you're not British, and or drink your tea in the iced form, then I don't really know what to say to you, to be honest. Anywho, broskies, we are here to draw and not discuss tea. So right now I can tell you that I most definitely drew this face at an angle, and all of the faces are slightly wonky, but it's 2019 and there's nothing you can do about it. So... As I have the benefit of being future Rachel, I can also tell you that when beginning the piece, the resemblance between the Zendaya that I was drawing and the human known as Anthony Mackie was very uncanny. It was extremely scary. And I can also let you know that I did not change the face one bit, so this is going to be a very interesting drawing. So hopefully it will look like Zendaya in the end and not like some scary demon that's about to walk out of a dark corner in the middle of my room at 2am. Anyway, I was going to talk about different watercolour techniques that I learnt because that's probably what people who are watching this watercolour painting video wanted, but alas, I'm not going to do that because I'm unpredictable and the only sane thing an unpredictable relatable teen such as myself in 2019 will be doing right now is dyeing their hair. Yes, I am jumping on the bandwagon and I am giving it a go, so it will be professionally done uh, and there will be no quality roasting content for the likes of Brad Mondo and anyone else. And also for the sanity of my sister who would probably shank me if I walked into her home with noodle, fried, overcooked cheese string hair. And also as the youngest sibling, I feel that it's my duty to be chaotic. So also that, and I wanted to look like Stephanie from Lazy Town or a Stabilo pastel pink highlighter to live out my dreams. But you know, that I'm just not cool enough for that, but we're just gonna see what happens. letting you guys know that I had no idea where I was going with this piece when I started it. I kind of knew the colour scheme that I wanted to do which was like pinks and reds and blues because they use lots of purpley tones in the series but it was also because I didn't really want to draw actual skin colours because that would have messed my entire piece up as I have no skills in painting whatsoever but I think it actually turned out okay I did it took me a while because I did have to keep on leaving it because I think I added too much water which is why at the end the drawing did look really buckled and stuff but that might also be because of the paper I used Hello my dudes, I am back and I'm just here to talk about some really amazing pens. 
These pens I used for this drawing were micron pens and I literally got them in the post about 10 minutes before I decided I was actually going to outline the watercolour because it looked kind of washed out and I was I wanted to add something else to it but all of my other pens are run out and I was going to use Biro but I was up at like 4am the night before and I just knew I had to buy something on Amazon because Amazon is an addiction that I can't seem to let go of and I just buy every useless thing on there because I cannot save my money. Ugh, it's horrible but this was worth it because these pens are freaking amazing like oh they were so good they might have been like the most expensive art supply I've ever decided to buy and the shipping was like five quid which was a bit annoying but they came the day after I ordered them which is something very unheard of when you live in the middle of nowhere but these pens are waterproof waterproof that means I could use my watercolors over the top of them and that's oh it was amazing like afterwards when I used the watercolour over the top of the ink I was just expecting them to bleed but they didn't and honestly I think the heavens opened and something incredible happened I had a I had an out-of-body experience because these pens were just so freaking good so I highly recommend buying them I went a bit uh, crazy with the pens because I was just so happy with them so I ended up fine lining every single thing in the piece and I basically just relied on the fine liners to to save this piece because it was looking a bit shitty before I used them. Okay, so it was the final the final stretch in the marathon. I run thousands of miles. I don't know how long a marathon is. I don't run. But I ran so freaking far in this piece that my hands were dying. I had drawn so many strands of hair. My patience was being tested, but there was something missing. Something sparkly and gold that just screamed drug addict, romance, fun times, dark teen show. And that was my Windsor & Newton gold metallic ink that I decided I would add to her eyes to make it look like she was crying because I wanted to make this piece more edgy and there was never enough edginess going around on the show Euphoria, so... I did that and I added it and I went a bit crazy and I wrote Euphoria out in the gold ink at the top that is wonky and the letters aren't all the same size but I think that it looked pretty good overall and I really liked the effect that it created. So I think that was, after using that ink, I felt like it was time to peel off that tape which I didn't film because it ripped off half of the surface of the paper and I struggled. So. There we go.